Hello Python programmers. Uh, in this video I want to take a look at strings. Uh, now strings are really important. Uh, you're going to use them in loads of programs and it's really important to understand the things that you can do with a string. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is create a variable called s which stands for string um, and I'm going to assign it a value of YOLO. Okay. Now um, one of the most common things to do with strings is to actually find out how how long this string is. So I'm going to use a function called len, which stands for length. And I'm going to pass it the variable s. Now it returns a value of 4 because YOLO has 4 characters in it. I can also do things like pass it an actual string okay, within it. And it returns a value of 13 here with, here with hello world. It's got a comma, a space and um, an exclamation mark. It's not just characters it counts, it counts like spaces as well. Um, so I can pass it either a variable or, a, or an actual string. I can do some really fun things with it. I can find out, well, I can, I can actually pull out a specific letter from that string. So if I type in S0, it will take the Y. The 0 indicates the very first position. In most programming languages, 0 indicates the first location. Um, most people get confused. This is one of the common errors. Some people would type in position 1, thinking that would be the first letter in uh, the word, but actually that would return 0 or O because it's the, actually the second position. So I can do the same thing here, uh, position 2 which is actually the third position and the fourth position would be position 3 or index location 3. Okay, So that, that's how I can get specific words or letters. I can actually do a slice, I can do um, the f position 1 to position 3 this is actually going to return OL. It won't include the last letter. Um, that's because it goes up to the third position, but not or the third index, but not including it. If I typed in S1 and 4, this would include uh, the, the last letter. I can also do uh, S, I want the first letter, and I want it to go up to the end. So I actually just leave that bit blank. It will go up to the end. Likewise, I can do from the beginning, S, leave the first one blank, up to the second position, and it will give me Yo. Okay. I can also do S is equal to S plus, and add another string onto it. This is called concatenation. So now S, if I uh, print S, it prints YOLO with an exclamation mark. And I can do len again, and you'll see that it's increased to 5. Um, if I did S times 2, it will print YOLO twice, so I can actually print a string multiple times, string times 10 just to show you, so lots and lots of times. It doesn't actually change the length of the string, it's just it's printing it many times. I can do S.upper and it will give me YOLO in capital letters. I can do S.title and it will give me a capital Y at the start. Um, and if I was to set, if, if YOLO was in, in low, uh, upper cases, I can actually use lower as well, and it will print it in lower as well. Now, for those of you who are a little bit pessimistic in life, rather than you only live once, uh, YOLO, you, may, uh, can, you can also say you only die once. So what about if we use s.replace, and I'm going to replace, it says here, replace the old letter, so I'm going to replace the, the uh, L with the new one, uh, and I want it to go to D for you only die once. Now it says Yodo, so you only die it once. So print it. There we go. Um, it, you can see that it didn't actually replace anything. It just that was the the call for it. If I wanted to replace it, I would have to do S equals S dot replace L D. And now if I call S, it's changed it. So. This is quite an important thing. In this, uh, I mean, at the moment, I'm in the idle, the shell. Um, we're going to look at how we write a program soon uh, using a new file. But in here, I just called this statement and it printed the result of that statement. In this line here, I actually told it I want the uh, variable s to now equal the value of s dot replace, and it and it did that. So this is why it didn't change it here, but this time it did change it. 
Um, okay, so that's a basic introduction into strings and some of the things that you can do with strings. There's a whole load more, uh, but we'll cover them in later tutorials. I'll catch you later.